Hey guys, welcome back to The Gamer Play. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Revenge of the Beef Steak Tomatoes for the Atari 2600, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. What the hell? What's going on? What is that? What is going on? I'm dying. What is the point of this game? What the fuck is going on? I don't even know what to do. What is this? What is that red thing? What are these? I can shoot. What am I supposed to shoot at? What is this? What are these things? What's going on? Uh, aha! I can shoot things. I can get points. How many times have I died? What the fuck is going on? What is this? I have no idea what to do. Yeah, so this game seems pretty confusing. You know, you love those old Atari games where you, you put the thing in, you hit the on button, and all of a sudden, oh my god, what the fuck's going on? I'm getting killed, I'm still alive, what are these red things? Are these beef steak tomatoes? What are these things down here, they're plants or something? They're shooting at me, I'm a spaceship? What the fuck is going on? Someone explain to me. What are these colored blocks? What the fuck is this shit? What are these things? What are these things? What the hell? What did I just do? What is this? What am I supposed to do? Okay. Well, this game was released in 1983 for the Atari 2600 by 20th Century Fox, actually. Yeah, you know, it kind of sounds familiar. Like, uh, Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes. Hmm. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Kind of sounds the same. So, who wants to know the game objective of this fucking fine game? Alright, you'd better think twice before eating another tomato. The beefsteak tomatoes have had enough and are fighting back. It's up to you, a lowly tomato sprayer, to stop them. The goal is to trap the demented tomato plants at the bottom of the screen by building a three-layered wall above them while simultaneously dodging tomato bombs and shooting flying tomatoes? What? Putting a brick into place is a two-step process. First, you must capture a colored brick by shooting it. Your sprayer will become the color of the brick. Your next shot will fire the brick into place. If you shoot in any other direction but down, the brick will be lost. There are three colors of bricks, orange, purple, and green. With each color corresponding to a level of the wall, a round is completed. When the entire wall is finished, points are awarded for enemies destroyed and walls completed. A life is lost every time an enemy hits you. Are you are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so I'm a, I'm like a sprayer thing. I, I'm like a weed killer or something. So here's the objective, guys. In case it didn't make any sense to you, I have to shoot one of these colored blocks. Ugh. See now my little spray thing's purple, and I have to build these walls, three walls, closing these tomato plants down successfully. Up. Oh, now you see I just launched another thing. So I lost my color. I just I did it again. Oh. There are some versions where you can die multiple times and you'll you'll never have a game over. And I think there's another version where you can actually die. You only have limited amount of lives. Okay, now here's one of the weeds. It's growing. You know, you can actually just kind of kamikaze it to death. Look, I just took it down by running into the thing. Isn't this the craziest game you've ever seen? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I really don't. Yeah, we gotta build some green. We gotta build some green. So I guess the real objective of this game is just kind of a points thing. You wanna get a lot of points? Points, points, points. We gotta build some green. Oh, man. Oh, it's crazy. Ugh, I'm stuck. Oh no! Oh no! There we go. Once again, usually back on the old Atari 2600, there was no background music, only sound effects. Even if you get hit, you still 
retain the color you last had. Oh, fuck, I was too low. Oh, nice shot. Oh, no, fucking plants. Did you know a beefsteak tomato is an actual food? That's just not some crazy made-up asshole word. There's really such thing as a beefsteak tomato. That's what they're called, man. Beefsteak tomatoes. What the fuck? Are you shitting me? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just run into it. It actually saves you time. So instead of traveling all the way back up, you can just kamikaze it, and you'll end up back here at the starting point. Oh, fuck. Okay, now, could I actually fill in the orange gap and block myself off from completing the other wall? Nope, it won't let you do that. Just in case you're dumb enough to do it, this game will prevent you from. Okay, come on. I need a purple. I need a purple. No! I need a purple. There we go. Oh, shit. It tore down my wall. You mother. Come on. I need a green. I need a green now. I need a green. These goddamn beefsteak tomatoes. Beefsteak tomatoes are pretty big, too. Some of which can weigh up to a fucking pound? I don't think I've ever had a beefsteak tomato. Uh. Yes! Oh, and I have saved the day. What? What the fuck? Why are these things back? Oh my god. Okay. Back in the day, Atari games were kind of a pain in the ass to set up. And when I say that, I mean selecting levels. Let's see here. Let's pull out the old instruction manual here. To set up. <clears throat> this is back in the day when video games were a little more complicated to set up. Set up your video computer system and left joystick controller as instructed in your game system's owner manual. Move the color BW lever to the correct setting. Turn the power off. Insert the Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes game cartridge and then turn the power on. Use the game select lever and difficulty switches to choose a play level. Press the game reset lever and prepare for Tomato Warfare? What the fuck, man? Can that be any more complicated? How about I turn on the fucking game, there's a title card, it says, Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes, press start to play. Who came up with that idea anyway? Whoever came up with that idea should get a fucking million dollars, the, you know, a medal. They should just get it all. Because that is confusing as all fuck. It's ridiculous. That's what you had to do with the Atari 2600 games. This, the, uh, the console came with all these little buttons and levers and, and, and left stick controllers and ah, uh, you gotta push this to make that activate. Blah, blah, blah. But no, fuck that, man. So you know what? I think there are actually... <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. I think there are actually a couple different levels in this game. It might be a little tough for me to get to them, though. Why can't I advance automatically? It's ridiculous. It's re goddamn ridiculous. Uh, no! Beef steak. Oh, it, it, it blocked my attack. I gotta build walls, man. I gotta build walls. Who came up with the idea of this game, man? They were on fucking crack. See, back then, back in the olden days, they had to come up with some pretty wacky ideas, man. Ninja Golf? Revenge of the Beef Steak Tomatoes? I guess they were all out of, like, uh, ideas for, 
you know, battleships and shooting missiles at aliens and stuff back then, you know? They were all out of ideas, so they had to rely on vegetables and fruits and... Beef, steak, tomatoes? Isn't a tomato technically a fruit? Hmm. Ugh. Let's complete another wall. We're gonna complete this wall. But what's the point? It's the same thing. So really, this game is all about kind of getting a high score. There are different difficulty settings. There are a couple different levels, but come on. This shit is all the same. It's ridiculous. It's redundant. It's just another one of those video games you play when you're bored. Have a few beers. Shoot a... Oh, no! Shoot a few things. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed... Be the Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes. It's a crazy fuck. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.